Hi, following on from my uh, last video on the Michelin XZL tyres, I've had a few questions on uh, regrooving, so I thought uh, while it's a lovely day here in uh, Baja California, Mexico, uh, I might as well uh, regroove a couple of my tyres as they're getting down to those kind of limits, and I'll make a quick video to show you the process. These are the tools we're going to use for uh, regrooving the tyre. First of all, the real foot six, which is uh, basically the, the heated gun, uh, which you use to cut the tire. It's a big transformer, dial up the temperature you want, and then you press this into the tire, and the action of pressing it in moves this back, makes the electrical connection, and heats up the element, and so it's like a hot knife through butter. The actual cutting element themselves, uh, we're going to be using uh, R4, which is the uh, correct shape for cutting the XL tires. Uh, this is a blade, it's been used, you can see by the uh, the heat stress on the top. It has a sharp edge on one side and then the blunt edge on the other. So you fit this in the tool and then the tool heats it up and pushes it through the tyre to cut it. To make sure you set it at the right depth, we have a depth gauge. Um, I'll use this uh, setting the tool in a moment once we've worked out what depth we're actually going to set the cutting bit to. And we have a uh, tread depth uh, measurer, so I can basically push that in and measure the depth of the, uh, the existing tread and then what we need to do is we know that we can uh, cut to a maximum of three millimeters on these tires of regrooving so we need to know the existing tread depth and then add three millimeters to it and that's the depth that we will set this blade to uh, so that we don't cut too deeply into the tire okay in an ideal world uh, the tread would be perfectly evenly worn right across the tire but i've been doing a lot of off-road and I've uh, been running at various different pressure settings and so I've ended up with uh, fairly uneven uh, tyre wear so uh, what we do is I take a measurement of the tyre's uh, remaining tread across the tyre so we've got 4.7 millimetres uh, on the outside we've got about 3.3 in the middle and on this shoulder we're down to about 3.2 uh, I can cut the depth of these treads down by another 3 millimeters. So I'll take the shallowest, which is 3.2, and I'll set the cutting bit to a depth of 6.2. So when I cut at this point here, the depth will be 3 millimeters deeper than it is at the moment. Obviously, uh, it won't be quite so deep on this side, but 3 millimeters is the maximum, so this will actually be cut a little bit less. Uh, but overall, it'll give me approximately another 3 millimeters of uh, tread wear on the uh, the thinnest side which is what I'm after to prolong the life of the tyres. This is the cutting tool, uh, the blade fitted into the uh, the head of the tool. Then uh, we said we were going to set it to 6mm so using this gauge here, this is the 6mm uh, depth, we can put it on top of the tool and slowly push it in until we get the, uh, the correct depth set on the tool. Once that's set we then just tighten up the two allen bolts. And then double check we've got it right six millimeters now the cutting pattern for the uh, 255 100 r16 xl tire is to basically follow this existing tread through here from one side to the other and then to cut through this center block here all the way around the tire i've also calculated that the cost of the cutting machine uh, basically pays for itself with the increased mileage you get by regrooving your tyres such that by the time you've regrooved four tyres um, the extra life that's given you in the cost of a new tyre is the equivalent of the cutting tool so it is an investment. Uh, I estimate with the extra three millimetres uh, depth cut into the tyres I get between uh, eight and ten thousand extra kilometres out of the tyre. Okay, that's the uh, tyre finished, all the horizontal uh, and the vertical cuts are made in the tyre. Uh, I've done it on the front wheel 
because uh, with it mounted on the front because it's obviously easy with the steering turn like that the wheel jacked up holds the wheel in place while you want to work on it which is good uh, in reality though now I've regrooved it I will be doing a tire rotation to the back I prefer to have my roof regrooved tires on the back just from a safety point of view I have had a tire blowout on the back in the past and the truck is completely handleable um, and I think it's a much safer place to have the tire rather than having it on the front on the uh, the braking and steering wheel okay that's all the rubber uh, left over from the cutting process one thing I didn't mention is uh, during the process while you're cutting um, every now and again I do double check with the gauge that the uh, the blade hasn't moved and is still in the correct place and is still the correct shape and hasn't been deformed in the process uh, another item as well is that these blades the R4 they do say heating position 3 and 4 on the machine I get better results with it on position 3 because I think the XL rubber is uh, quite a soft compound and I found if I have it on four you tend to get the uh, much more burning and much more smoke so uh, three I find is the best setting for these tyres. I'm not a tyre expert I'm just a guy over landing and this is what I've picked up off of various videos reading Michelin manuals etc and it's how I personally do my tyres uh, obviously I can't give any guarantees that it's the correct way or anything like that if anyone thinks I've done anything wrong uh, please leave a comment in the notes below so other people can uh, learn from my mistakes. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. Bye.